Bunny CDN just launched a new WordPress plugin that's actually useful. They had a dinky plugin that couldn't do practically anything, and now it's actually useful. So let me show you this plugin right now. What's up, everyone? I just got an email from Bunny.net telling me that the WordPress plugin has been improved. And yes, I've installed it, I tested it, and yes, it's been completely revamped. It's actually useful now. Before it was a dinky plugin, and now it's actually something that I could use. Now, before this, I would install my CDN, my Bunny CDN, on a cache plugin. That way, I avoided installing this plugin because this was nothing special about it. But now it's actually useful and it's way easier for new users to actually use it. Now, in this case, I've installed it on my WordPress site already. And you can see now you have options for the overview, CDN, offloader, optimizer, and fonts, which is something you didn't have before. Before you just linked your link from your Bunny CDN into this, and basically you had two options at most. In this case, now we have a lot of options. Now, before we jump into this, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They are sponsoring this video and they have a really great shared hosting plan that you can grab right now. It's actually affordable and there's a coupon code that you can take advantage of, which I'll show you how to apply it right now. Now, if you go over to hosting, check out their web hosting plans, which are really affordable. You can see that they have plans from $2.99 a month. Let me show you the business plan, which is the most popular one. You can install up to 100 websites. You have 200 gigabytes of NVMe storage and a whole lot more. Now, let me go ahead and add it to cart to show you how to apply that extra coupon code. Now, once you are here, you're going to be asked how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, plus you're good to go for 48 months. Now I've selected this one right here and you're going to see that the total right now is $191 with 52 cents. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan on Hostinger, use my coupon code. Now let's jump into my bunny plugin. So like I said, I've already installed it here. It's super easy to use. The plugin is free and using Bunny CDN is super affordable, all right? To install it, go to plugins, add new, and search for Bunny CDN. It's a free plugin. Go ahead and install it. And now it's easier to connect Bunny with this WordPress plugin because all you have to do is log in, accept, and you're good to go, and it's connected. And you're going to be able to have a quick overview of your particular site right here. So now I can view my bandwidth usage, the cache hit ratio, cache hit rate, total requests served, and the total requests right here all from this plugin. You couldn't do that before. You had to jump into the panel on Bunny and check everything out. In this case, you could do it straight from here for this site. Now, for the CN CDN options, you can view them right here. We can turn on or off the CDN from here by just taking this off, saving it, and it's off if you want to turn it off. Then we have your purge zone cache options. So if you updated the site and you're not viewing those changes reflected on your site, you can go ahead and purge the CDN from here the pull zone, the CDN host name. So if you add your own custom domain, you'll view it here in the drop down menu. Now for that, you will need to go into the panel on the bunny site to do it, right? Site URL, excluded extensions. So you can add extensions that you don't want bunny CDN to work on. For example, I don't know, it could be dot, dot zip files. It can be XML, etc. Just go ahead and add them right here. Included directories. So by default, it's added the important directories. So all the images, the theme, all that good stuff, it's already added here. But if you have a separate folder, you can do it. You can add it from here. Disable for admin. So if you don't want CDN to work on the admin site, so right now I'm logged in as an admin. And if I tested my site or something like that, the CDN won't work if I take this on, okay? Those are the CDN options, the things that you didn't have before. Before, all you could do is add the pull zone, exclude some extensions, and basically that's all you could do. So now it has way more options. And we have the option to use a floater. So if you want to add, enable a floater, you can have all the options straight from here. So that means that if you want your images, your files, etc., to be offloaded to Bunny storage, you can do it with this option. So you can just go ahead and enable Bunny DNS all from here. Okay. Then we have the optimizer options. Now be aware that the Bunny optimizer is an additional cost that will cost you $9.50 per month. If you enable this, that's what it's going to cost you a month. Now, what it's going to do, it's going to load images with WebP extension, which is what Google loves. It's going to resize the images and it's going to do a whole lot. Now, I do use this in my sites that are really important. So I do enable this. But for sites that are not so important for me, I don't enable it. I don't want to pay $9.50 a month. 
for a site that doesn't get a lot of traffic or it's not important for me. So do consider that, all right? And then there's the fonts. We can offload the fonts. So if you want to rewrite fonts, that is possible. So for example, if you want to be 100% GDPR compliant, you can rewrite the fonts. For example, instead of using the Google fonts, which is really common, the WordPress uh, plugins and themes use fonts from Google. Well, it can use them now from Bunny fonts. So this is a great option to have. So just go ahead and tick this on, save it, and it's going to be enabled. So it's super easy to use. So now they've added all these options in this Bunny plugin, which I think is really interesting that they're doing this. Now, this is practically the first version that has been revamped, and it's going to get way better in the future. So I think it's definitely worth installing it now because you get all these options available straight from here. Now, it's actually useful, and before it was really awful. Nothing special about it. So there you go. That is the new Bunny plugin. Go ahead and install it if you're using Bunny CDN. And if you are not, I do suggest that you use it. It's a great service and it's super affordable. The links will be provided in the description for the Bunny CDN and the shared hosting plans from Hostinger. And that's a wrap.